Hey, what is up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. So, as you can tell by the title, the thumbnail, and by the way that this video is going itself, I have lost the 50k master account with Bullinox. It's been a really, really fun eye-opening journey, you know, going through this challenge, but it definitely hurt a lot. You know, some heartbreak, I should say, of losing the account. I think we came a long way when it came to following the plan and just trying to, to, to perform the best that we could have with the strategy that we put at play for the series and uh you know things don't always work out so um, i had to take a few days off honestly from just all of that i had so much on my mind and my mental has just been kind of downhill from that point even before i lost the account i was already kind of facing some personal mental things and so just all of it coming together kind of sucked and it really set me back a little bit so that's why i haven't posted anything about the Bullinox account um, but that doesn't mean I wasn't going to address you know what happened with the account so that's what we're here for so um of course we're going to start off with the three categories the first one is my trading psychology now my trading psychology for the entire series I think was fairly strong you know starting off like the first week and a half of having the account I felt pretty good about where I was being able to manage my emotions and letting that play into how I manage my risk and ultimately just knowing when I wanted to trade, not having to like force myself to get into a trade or having to like wake up at a certain time because I had to, it was just more of when I felt prepped to. So I think that was a really great part um, during this challenge. Um, for the second half of having this account with my trained psychology though, I could definitely see things start to take a turn for the worse, unfortunately. On uh, Wednesday, I think that was like the 13th or the 14th of June, something happened and I didn't necessarily have any negative effect on this account, but on my other accounts, which I have posted about on my YouTube community tab, I started to lose them. And that's because of this whole personal mental thing that I mentioned. And then eventually that personal thing kind of started to affect this account and essentially I lost it. So um, moving on to category two is my strategy. So looking for five to 20 point moves per trade. I think we did a really good job with, with you know, looking for trades like that and being able to execute on them. I think that was a really good range of points and just enough to feel comfortable to like walk away, um, getting like a certain amount of points per trade. With the time frame, I said about 15 minutes for trading day. And, you know, that's like a good 50% of the time I stuck to that time frame. But the other 50%, I would start to trade a little bit more. And, you know, that's definitely another thing I need to work on, which is making sure I stay sh like true to the amount of time that I'm trading to avoid the over trades. I think it was maybe three, three or four days, which again is 50% of having this account where I did trade more than 15 minutes. So, you know, some of those days were actually really good. And then the other days weren't so good with trading longer. So it is what it is. Um, as far as strategy overall, though, like with using the ones that I've developed for the past couple of months, it has been really effective. And I feel very comfortable and confident in the strategies that I'm working on. My VWAP one, my big point moves and my super scalp strat. They have been fairly effective and I feel good moving forward with using them on all of my accounts and I have been and I think now it's come to a point where it's mainly my trading psychology and habits that need some tweaking in order to get to that next level of trading. For category three is my performance. So there's lots of different things I can say, but to try to keep it short and sweet, the most common theme I found across the videos is definitely going to be my trading entries. So I've mentioned it time and time again about trying to get better entries because sometimes they weren't the best. And I know that's going to come with time, with experience and with using limit orders and just be able to react even faster. So um, that's something that I believe is going to be in due time. And I'm going to continue focusing on that. Um, another portion of my performance, I would like to say, is just having faith in the system. There was days where I actually had losing trades where I didn't have faith in the system. And that was the last three trading days where I eventually lost the account. I had no faith in my system whatsoever. And I, right off the bat, like that's not what you should be, you know, doing. It's, you should have faith in yourself and what you've developed. And, you know, based upon what I've learned the past couple of months with my data and, you know, my win percentage with using the system is that it works. It really does work. And that's why I was able to do so well. It's just, again, all my trading habits, trading psychology that really gets the worst of me or the best of me. But anyways, um, yeah, having faith in my system is super, super key. And 
when I lose faith in the system, I definitely lose faith in myself. And that connects all the way back to training psychology and mindset. So um, it's kind of, you know, a big no brainer that that is an area I need to work on. Um, but that's kind of like what I really wanted to cover with those three categories. Again, I feel like this whole series was really eye opening to allow me to see that I have actually progressed a lot as a trader and to beat my personal record of eight trading days. We got to nine. It would have been 10 if Monday was not a holiday. But you know what? It is what it is. I'm 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 still very, very proud of myself for getting that far. At one point, we actually met the profit threshold to be able to withdraw as well, which I didn't even recognize right away. So that's unfortunate. But um, I think that this series really showed me as well that it is possible for me to be able to get to that first payout. Um, I just have a lot of things I need to work on, of course, and it's not going to be overnight that that's going to happen. And so, you know, the past couple of days of taking, you know, a step away from trading, I'm finally able to, you know, recollect myself and feel like I can get back into it again. So uh, with that being said, there's some new updates, which I'll be, I already have posted on my YouTube community tab, and I will be making a new video on really, really soon. So that will probably be released this weekend. But I just wanted to just say thank you guys so much for your amazing support for the last couple of weeks with this series, with my channel, with all my social platforms, with using my codes and my links. Like I'm super thankful and grateful for all of you guys. And as always, I do wish you guys nothing but the best and most success in your trading journey. I hope you guys are killing it, passing your evaluations, getting your first payouts. And, you know, hopefully we continue to grow into the bigger supportive community out here in this industry. Um, but yeah, I, uh, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go. I'm going to go ahead and get outside, get some sun in, and I will see you all in the next video.